Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, another um, review of the trades in the 50k life account project. I think this is 12, the 12th week. And yeah, let's have a look at the trades. So um, the, the, the week was actually quite good. So we can see it here right now. I will also filter it uh, later on for the, for the last week. It was going very, very good until the last um, day, the Friday, which was non-farm payroll Friday. And that really, yeah, it was a big hit on the account because there were only losing trades actually on the Friday, I think. Yeah, in the in the uh, trade buddy here, we can see there were only losing trades on Friday. So let's have a look at what happened. So first of all, let's can uh, let's let's have a look maybe at the at the indices, and we can see the overall indices were slightly going up. So let me find the Monday here. Like from this point on, yeah, it was it was slightly going up. I mean. Not a lot, but um, a bit. So we should expect that we see some profits here in the strategies that go along a lot in the indices, especially US tech was really going up 2.5% or a little bit more. Not so much the German index and the US index um, or the US 30. They were more sideways, but we will see profits in US tech for this reason. And then there were a lot of trades in uh, USD Japanese yen. Unfortunately, um, most of them were losing trades, so this was very, very bad for this specific strategy. I think no trades in euro or dollar. Yeah, ranges were just too small every single day. And then we had uh, some trades in uh, GBP US dollar. I think most of them, yeah, also so many losses in GBP US dollar. Very, very, very bad. And then there were some turnaround Tuesday trades, which we will have a look at. And um, yeah, I think also one trade in the range breakout EA for the German index. But let's also have a look at gold because gold was also heavily traded or very active like it is every week pretty much. Uh, unfortunately, also, I think more losing trades or yeah, two winning, two losing trades. But overall, I think it should have created a small loss which is not even the biggest problem or the biggest thing, the most sad thing here about gold is that on the Friday here, it was trading this long trade and this generated a loss of uh, 500, uh, 500 euro, which is, I mean, not good, but also not a big problem. But the big problem is that because the first breakout was long, I was not able to make money with this crazy down move here on the last um, Friday, which was over 3%. So this actually would have been a, wait, trade is closed somewhere here. Yeah, it would have been a profit over 1K, like 1.5K, and this was not done. So instead of making 1.5K, I lost 500 euro. So yeah, you can see these simple or small things um, can really have a huge, huge impact on the account. But yeah, I already took all of the trades and included them into my trade buddy tool here on my local PC. I updated all the strategies. So you can see this is the overall performance so far with all of the trades included. We can clearly see that here the last day was very, very bad and was just going down on the Friday. But before this, I think the week was not like super bad, especially because of US tech, which was going down. So overall, or in total, the count is now up 5.2% or 5,000 something euro. So let's have a look at the filter. So if we just filter for the last week, um, which is this week here, we will see the performance just for the last week. Yeah, there was a small profit of 900 euro. Um, yeah, let's quickly jump through the strategies to see where the profit is coming from. We start with a go long strategy. And I already said before, US 30 was going up slightly. So we do have a very small profit here. Then US tech was going up by a lot. So we, sh we see a big profit here and we do. Then DE40 was more or less sideways, I think. Yeah, we do see a small profit here, 260, only one trade. 
in, uh, in D40 with the go long strategy. Then we have the range breakout strategy. And overall, this was performing very, very poorly. So if we have a look at this for all of the strategies, we can see there was a loss of 1K. And if we go through the strategies, we will see where the loss is coming from. So it's definitely not coming from uh, the range breakout EA in the German index because here there was a trade which was more or less break even. But if we have a look at USD Japanese yen, this was very, very bad. 500 euro lost here. Then we have, I think, no trade in euro. Yeah, right. But GPUS dollar, very, very bad. Also 500 euro lost. And then we have gold, which was also not good, but not as bad as the currencies. So, yeah. Overall, range breakout EA performed very poorly in the um, in the in the two currency pairs, USD, Japanese yen, GP, US dollar. This is basically where all the losses are coming from. Overall, performing very poorly in the last two and a half months that I trade this account now. So, last but not least, let's have a look at the turnaround Tuesday strategy. And this strategy had two trades, I think. Wait, I have to select the markets here. So, one trade was in US 30, the other one in US tech. And yeah, this was a slight profit. Most of the profits are coming, of course, from the US tech because this one was just very strong the last week. So yeah, if we take away the time filter and go for the overall period, we can have a look again at the strategies. So we can see that the go-along strategy should, I think it should be profitable, especially because of US tech. Yeah, it's highly profitable so far, but it's no surprise because some of these indices were very, very strong. Range breakout EA for all of the symbols is still positive, but, but most of the profits here are still coming from gold and all of the losses or most of the losses are actually coming from US 30 and GPS dollar. So if you have a look at uh, US um, the Japanese yen, um, there are 1,000 euro lost in this one strategy. Then if we have a look at GBPS dollar, there's, I think, even a bigger loss. No, it's a smaller loss now. Okay, but also 800 euro loss. So, yeah, very, very poor performance in the currency pairs. And gold, even though the last week was not very, very good, is overall still standing here with a big profit. So, yeah, this was the overview over the last week, um, trading the 50k live account was i mean it was not super bad but also the the friday was just the friday was super bad actually to to sum it up it generated a loss of yeah over 1k which was really bad luck i would say but that's how it is you you win some you lose some especially during news events everything can happen talking about news events this also had an impact of course on the ftmo challenges so let's go through the ftmo challenges I got crazy slippage again in GPUS dollar. Um, yeah, crazy slippage actually. Also in USD Japanese yen in this account, which led to a more or less break even Friday here, which is super unfortunate because if there would not have been the slippage, this, this Friday would have been super profitable. And yeah, I got a little bit less slippage in the verification account here. So you can see less slippage in GPS dollar and a lot, lot less slippage in USD Japanese yen because there also the break-even stop was activated. So here last Friday created a nice profit of yeah 1.5%. So this account is 2% up now, which is great. Also, this account is doing good. I, I, I just increased the lot size to 0.2. .2. Um, one week ago, which I also talked about in a, in a live stream, I think, and here also Friday made some profits, which is also great. And then this account is also doing great, which is the stock trading account, but not a lot of movement in the last week. It's up 7%. And this one, um, where I trade the go long strategy with the FTMO account, is more or less break even. It's 0.5% uh, down. So, yeah, this is the little summary. Um, slippage again hit me straight into the face. I don't know. I, I mean, slippage is part of the game, but what I don't really understand is why I do see such a different slippage, even if I, even if I trade the same orders in different accounts. And most of the time, the big account has more slippage. 
So yeah, some people might say that FTMO is manipulating the prices. I mean, I don't really think so. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's a little bit awkward. But yeah, this is this, um, the summary. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, see you, see you around. Have a good time. Bye.